Dad is right. We are finally getting back to the trash can pen reel. I am pretty excited about this video coming out. But, gotta be basic first. Get your iced coffee in with oat milk. But anyway, before we get into this, we'll move it back there. Before we get into that, I wanted to show you some cool things. We went to a flea market today because the video was going to be different um, because of some other things that I was looking for and was unable to, to find them today. But, so I got this. It's a sharpening stone and it was $1.00. How great it is, probably not that great, but we can get our knives sharp though now. And then, probably my best find, I got a couple books too. I bought uh, the Lord of the Rings books. I bought um, The Fellowship and The Two Towers. But this right here, what I'm going to show you, you caught a glimpse of it. A little teaser. This is what I'm most excited for this is what I something that I found and if you've been watching the channel you know I'm into this stuff a magnum wiggle war and that's what I paid for it 450 I haven't opened it yet checked it out so but there is this there's this little vendor and it turns out she is from this older gal she was, uh from Wisconsin and her uh, her husband was like, hey, do you? Her second husband was like, hey, I want to run a flea market. You wanna you want you wanna do it with me? She's like, what the heck is a flea market? But now they've been doing this ever since. Check this out. And if you remember, if you've been watching this channel, I have the normal size version, and then this is a step up. This is the Magnum version, and it still has fishing line on it from where it was tied on. But I seen this, and I was like, it's something I can't live without. I looked at it, I'm like, that's a, that's a Magnum Wiggle War. And I was like, there's the crease marking right there. Know exactly what that is. And I'm like, I was like, looked over to my girlfriend, and I was like, this thing might be 20 bucks and it's like we got it for a little less than five so I'm pretty excited about this I went on eBay and I found this exact same one same color and everything and they had it marked for about $16 but theirs was in a lot worse condition than this one this one's in like pretty good condition considering how old that these are and the cult following that these have maybe not so much the Magnum ones, but just Wiggle Wars in general. So, building up that collection, this thing was oh, I I could not live without this. I had to have it, and it's probably something that I'm not going to use often, but had to have it. But let's dive into this video. So, the trash can pen reel. If you're newer to this channel, I found this uh, reel in a, tra in a trash can while I was out working. This lady was going to throw it away. And I was like, hey, mind if I check that out? And she's like, yeah, go for it. So initially, first couple things wrong with this. Cosmetically, there's some corrosion and stuff here down at the bottom. Uh, obviously this bale arm right here well for one it's bent out of shape but also we have some hardware missing um, front looks good and I have a I have a, a pretty decent idea of what I want to do with this reel but I've only taken this oh I've only opened this up once just to just to look inside real quick didn't clean it or anything so we'll get our screwdriver I want a bigger bit here that looks like a good one I 
I got this from a company that I worked at, that I interned at, Worth Electronic. There's like a bunch of storage, stuff in storage, and this is something that they used to give people as like, a, you know, little, little gifts, little swag stuff. Um, so I was in charge of cleaning out this, uh, the extra storage stuff, so this was in it. And my boss was like, you can have first pick at stuff, otherwise just put everything else in a box, put it by the break room and mark it as free. So I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty happy to get free stuff uh, being a broke college student. I was like, this is handy. And apparently these old pen reels have a little bit of a uh, of a cult following just because they're like such workhorses. I don't think they're like, I can't remember what the pricing is on like, you know, ones in good condition, but I know it wasn't like a ton of money. It was maybe a little less than $100. All right. Let's open it. All right, well, that's a little dirty. Let's look in there. Ooh. Look at all that sand in there. Old grease and stuff. Oof. Oof, da. But look how simple this is. Uh, just the gearing. Like, literally. Oh, one thing else that was wrong with this reel is, like, the handle does not turn at all. That was another thing. But, if you turn it back this way, we'll take, we'll just take the handle off. I believe if you turn it, ooh, yep, there we go. If we turn it counterclockwise here, Ooh, even, even this up here, that's super gritty. Let's back it out. We'll put, make sure we get all this stuff. When I'm taking apart reels, usually I'll put down like, um, oh yeah, and like, look at this. That's all rusted right there. So when I'm taking apart reels, I will typically, I'll lay down like a towel that way, if anything drops, it has a softer landing. It because like if it drops on this desk, it's gonna drop, bounce off, and I might have might never find like a small part again. But I need to go get some paper towels. So one second. There we go. Now I feel better about life. Now I got some paper towels down. But we're just gonna keep tearing this down. All right. So that's kind of crusty looking too. It's a little corroded. This Wyatt, have you bitten off more than you can chew? Maybe. Uh, in there's a little corroded, as you can see as well. Uh, spool honestly is in like pretty decent shape. Oh my gosh! Look at all of that sand. Oh my lord. Will these come out? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I, I see how this all works. All right, let's take off the, this bail arm. And when I take, when I take reels apart and everything, it's definitely the best idea to keep all of all oh, that yeah, spring. Yeah, his bales like well, corroded too and stuff. But it's always best to like try to keep your stuff together as much as you can. Okay. All right, so there's a little spring in there. That's all there. All right. Okay, so let's take this off right here. OK. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this screw and this right here, whatever it's called, I'm gonna put that over in this area by the plate, by the side plate, because I know that's around where it goes. Okay, hold that. That's on there. I got had to fajiggle it. Ooh, it's pretty. It's kind of crusty. Oh, there's so much sand and just everything. Okay. Now this main part can come out. All of that's together. I'll probably want to get. I don't even know what this cave was. I didn't see any drag washers. I'm not an expert though, so. All right, what else will I need to do to get this? Oh. I think we need a wrench and then this will all come apart. All right, so this is gonna take a 9 16th. Nope, that is the wrong way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh my word. Put that right there. And there we go. And come on. Well, I believe it is that way. All right. That's crusty too. Does this come out? Is that gonna come? Is this, does that come out? I'm not gonna mess, I'm not gonna take this switch off or anything. Um. These have to like, this gear has to like pop out. Well, let's try this. Nope, that didn't work. Nope. Hmm. Did it come out this way? All right, well, first things first with all of this, I'm gonna set that aside for a hot second. So I got all this sand in here. Let's just, let's get all this stuff out. A toothbrush would work great for this too. I just have this uh, cheap paintbrush. Look at all this sand. All right, so right now I'm just getting like, just taking this paper towel, getting all this old grease and stuff off. Alright, so I got a lot of that cleaned up, get the side plate cleaned up a bit. Got most of the sand out of this, so. This next part, grab my bowl, and I got some vinegar, great value, because, you know, it's okay to go cheap on, on this part. You know, I got this out of the trash can. I don't, 
don't want to invest too much into this. Fill this up. Got our vinegar in there. So I want this in there. I want that to go in there. Okay, I'll probably have to fill it up a bit more. Uh, what else? I want, I want this in there. Screw in there. Get this in there. That's what that in there. All right, need to fill this up just a touch more, but the reason why I'm gonna let this soak in vinegar for a while is to just. Hopefully get all of this corrosion off, you know So we're gonna let that set for as long as we can Made in USA. There we go. There we go USA USA no, but seriously, so we're gonna let this sit and we will be back So this has been setting for about two or three hours, so we're gonna get everything out of this vinegar Honestly, everything looks like a ton better. Got a lot of that, that all that gunk and corrosion off. Well everyone, that's gonna have to do it for part one of this video series, the trash can rail. So I took some sandpaper, got a lot of that off. Uh, it's just gonna be repainted like I said. But this is supposed to just pop right out. I uh, tried persuading it a little bit by tapping on this side, but I think it needs to sit in the vinegar longer and maybe try to get some. It was like this reel is very corroded, but a lot of the other parts are looking real, real good. Like, look at that handle, that's so shiny. But anyway, um, I'll also need to order a screw and maybe anything else for this. We do have the spring, so that's good. Um, I think I just will need to order the screw for the bail arm or maybe find one at like Lowe's Home Depot potentially even Walmart but that's gonna do it for this first uh, first part of this trash can reel series and I hope you really I hope you really like this this is a long time coming since I picked this up but you guys stay tuned the other one's gonna come in out as soon as I can and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Comment what you think. Uh, any ideas that I, I can do for this reel. Maybe what colors I can paint it. Um, what kind of rod. I would really, I strongly need suggestions on like what kind of rod goes well with this kind of reel. Because I have no idea. But, please subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Share it with two friends. And I will see you guys on Friday.